Okay, so in this example with implicit differentiation, uh, what we're going to do now is find the equation of the tangent line of the curve x squared plus 5xy plus y squared equals 1 at this point, uh, 0 comma negative 1. So um, it's pretty much just like all the other problems where you have to find a tangent line, uh, but the only difference here is now you have to use implicit differentiation. Um, but remember that implicit differentiation is just the chain rule, so it won't be too bad. Um, so let's think about this. Uh, we're finding the equation of a tangent line, um, and in general, when you want to find the equation of any line, uh, what you need is any point on the line and the slope of that line. So we're given a point on the line, right? Uh, we're told that this line is tangent to the curve at this point. So if a tangent line, um, or if a line is tangent at a point, then that means that the line goes through that point. So we already know the line goes through this point, now we just have to find the slope of the line. Um, and to do that we find the derivative, because slope of the tangent line uh, is the same thing as the slope of the curve, it's the same thing as the derivative, etc, etc. So let's go ahead and uh, just jump right in and do that. So we just got to find the value of the derivative dy dx at this point. So uh, we're going to start with the equation of the curve, uh, x squared plus 5xy plus y squared equals 1. Leave ourselves a little bit of room here. Um, and then we just take a derivative of both sides with respect to x. So d dx of the left equals d dx of the right. All right, now what happens on the left? Um, take the derivative with respect to x, do it term by term as usual. Uh, derivative of x squared is just going to be 2x. What happens over here? Here we have a product rule thing going on. Um, so let's say uh, the first is going to be 5x and the second will just be y. So we're going to do a product of 5x times y. So um, product rule says uh, if you want to do a derivative of a product that's going to be derivative of the first times the second. Okay, so the first is 5x, so its derivative is 5, and then we multiply that by the second, which is y. All right, so derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. Now the second is y, so the derivative of y is just dy dx, because remember we're doing uh, implicit differentiation, which again is just the chain rule. Um, all right, so that's it for the second term here. Uh, now plus y squared, the derivative of that is going to be 2y dy dx. All right. um, now d dx of 1 is just 0, because 1 is just a constant. Okay, so now we have that. Um, now the next step is to get all the dy dx terms on one side, everything else on the other side. So let's just leave the dy dx's over here on the left, and we'll put these guys on the other side. So in other words, uh, subtract 2x and 5y from both sides. So um, we're going to have 5x dx dy plus 2y, sorry, dy dx, not sure why I did that, uh, 5x dy dx uh, plus 2y dy dx um, equals minus 2x minus 5y. Okay, uh, now we can factor out a dy dx uh, from the left here. So we're out of room, let's come up over here. So when we factor out dy dx from here, what we're going to have is uh, 5x plus 2y, in parentheses here, and uh, dy dx out here equals negative 2x minus 5y. So the right-hand side stays the same for now. All right, now um, what we just need to do is divide both sides by this to get dy dx just by itself. So dy dx equals... Uh, negative 2x minus 5y divided by 5x plus 2y. Okay, So that's our derivative, um, and the derivative is going to tell us the slope of the tangent line. So to find the value of the slope, we just got to plug in these values here. So this is at the point 0 comma negative 1. So uh, x is 0 and y is negative 1. Okay. So if we let x be 0 in here, and if we let y be negative 1, then we're going to find the value of the derivative, and the value of the derivative is going to give us the slope of the tangent line, which is what we're looking for uh, here. Okay, so dy dx uh, evaluated at x comma y equals 0 comma negative 1 equals uh, negative 2 times 0 minus 5 
times negative 1, okay, because x is 0 and y is negative 1, uh, divided by 5 times 0 plus 2 times negative 1. Okay, so then simplify that. Uh, that's just 0 minus 5 times negative 1 is going to be positive 5, so we have a 5 on top. And what happens on the bottom? 0 plus 2 times negative 1, that's minus 2. So 5 over negative 2 is negative 5 halves. Okay, so, so far what we've done is uh, we've found the slope of the tangent line. Um, and that's pretty much the bulk of the work. Uh, the rest of the process is kind of just like a pre-calculus thing. Uh, we just have to use the point-slope form of the line to actually get the equation. Okay, because we're not done yet, right? We have the slope of the tangent line now, um, so the derivative at this point, 0, comma, negative 1. But the instructions were to find the equation. So we have a point on the line, we have the slope of the line, so let's go ahead and put those together. So pretty much out of room. Um, well, all right, yeah, let's make some more room here. Okay, so the slope is negative 5 halves, and the point is 0, comma, negative 1. So um, if we use the point slope form of the line, that's going to be y minus negative 1 equals negative 5 halves times x minus 0. Okay. So minus negative 1, that means plus 1. And negative 5 halves times x minus 0. Um, let's go ahead and do all uh, both steps at once. So we're going to distribute the negative 5 halves. And that's just going to give us that, because that 0 does nothing. And then subtract 1 for both sides. And this is the equation of our tangent line here. So you might be thinking, since this is 0, comma, negative 1, couldn't we have just said that's a y-intercept and then just use a uh, slope-intercept form? And yeah, we could do that. Um, but in general, you won't have a nice point like this to work with. Um, you know, you might have something like 2, negative 3, um, which isn't bad, but you can't use slope-intercept. Uh, so I just want to point out that in general, this is what you're going to have to do. Uh, you're going to have to use the point-slope form. But anyway, it doesn't really matter how you get there, um, as long as it's correct. Uh, as long as your method and the answer is correct, I mean. So, this is the equation of the tangent line. Um, let's go ahead and see what this would look like if we graphed it. So, we know that this line is going to be tangent to this curve at this point, 0, comma, negative 1. But let's just go ahead and see what a graph will look like, um, just so we can have an idea of what's going on here. All right. So here, uh, if we look at this, we see there's a red curve here and a red curve over here. So that's, um, that's our curve x squared plus 5xy plus y squared equals 1. Okay, this uh, red part here, that's our curve. And this blue line is our tangent line. So we could zoom in a little bit and we'll see that it is tangent at the point 0, comma, negative 1. Okay. So we can zoom in there and we see that. Um, Let's go ahead and change the graph a little bit. All right. So here's a little bit, uh, little better picture, and we can zoom into this. So again, this red piece up here, uh, that's part of the curve x squared plus five xy plus y squared equals one. Same thing with this red piece down here, and this blue straight line uh, is the tangent line, and we see that it is tangent at this point, zero comma negative one. And that's example six.